In this video, I will go through the installation and setup of the new Google Assistant version 3 module. Before I get into it, you should have already pre-installed the Magic Mirror software as well as set up your Raspberry Pi. You can look at my previous video for more information. With the new updated version of MMM Google Assistant module, you will now need to install an extra module called MMM Detector in order for the Google Assistant to detect your microphone and your keyword. To do this, you would just want to go to your modules folder and get clone the MMM Detector module into your folder. And then install it. Next, you want to install the MM and Google Assistant module and save that in your modules folder. You want to say yes to all the conditions and just let it run. After installing the module, you will want to set up your Google account to give permissions. The step will look really similar to the last video but there are still some differences. So first you want to go to Actions Console and then sign in to your account. Once you're signed in, you want to create a new project. You want it to be a custom project and a blank one. After you create the project, you want to go to the Cloud Platform Council. You should already be automatically signed in, but if not, just sign into your account again. And then you want to click Select Project and choose the project you just created. Um, please also note the ID and you'll need that later. Now you want to search for the Google Assistant API and you want to enable that. After enabling the Google Assistant API, you want to search for the YouTube data version 3 API and enable that as well and if you want you can also go ahead and enable the photo library API now you want to go back to your actions on Google tab and select your project and once you're in your project you want to change the overview to device registration in your link hit enter and then it should take you to device registration where you can register your device for the device type, please choose TV. Now make sure to download the credentials to your Raspberry Pi. Once you're done, go back to the Cloud Platform tab and go to API and Services and the Auth Consent form. Set the permissions to external and then type in all the information required, such as your email. After you're done, go back to the screen and then publish the app. Now on your Raspberry Pi, you want to go to the MMM Google Assistant folder and move the credentials that you downloaded before into the folder. You also want to change the client secret into credentials.json. Now to set up all the permissions for all the APIs, you want to go npm run tokens. Say yes and then your email should pop out. Once you sign in, you can give them the permission to use your account for those APIs. Do this for all the APIs that you want to use. Once you have everything set up, you just need to add code to the config.js file in Magic Mirror. All the code I use are from the bugs on the MMM Google Assistant module wiki on his website, which I will link below. I will also link the config code that I use in this file below if anyone wants to 
look at it for reference. For Google Assistant to know your location, you need to change the latitude and longitude under the Assistant config. And in order to get the external features such as YouTube, links, photos to work, you have to configure those parts accordingly and set them to true. You would also have to make sure to change the use ext to true in order for all the extended features to work. Once you're done configuring the file, you could just go to CD Magic Mirror and NPS Start. And then there you go, you're done. Please note though, in this video I did not include how to auto start or change from portrait to landscape mode as they are in my previous video. Jarvis YouTube Spider-Man Trailer you can find the trailer for Spider-Man's Homecoming here. Jarvis. Who is Obi-Wan Kenobi? In the Star Wars database, a legendary Jedi Master, Obi-Wan Kenobi was a noble man and gifted in the ways of the Force. Travis Stop Jarvis How do I get to downtown? The way to get to downtown by car is via Blanchard Street, Patricia Bay Highway, British Columbia 17, and will take about 6 minutes in heavy traffic.